next speaker is a, a, a true pleasure to introduce as uh, Kathy Ulrich is an individual that uh, I'm allowed to work with in her role in Northern Health Authority. She became president and chief executive officer of Northern Health in 2007. She spent the majority of her career in rural and northern locations, which has given her a solid understanding of the nature of these communities, their health needs, their concerns, and the unique approaches required to meet these needs. Kathy. So as CEO of Northern Health, it is my responsibility to think about the big picture. And this is a picture of um, 10,000 feet above the Rocky Mountains that I go with with my husband. And um, that vision that, that when I'm up there, I think about my vision for healthcare and my responsibility to work with Northern Health to create a vision. When we're creating that vision though, we need to remember uh, the important part of healthcare, which is where healthcare happens. Where individuals are providing care to individuals, where people are touching people. It's there that the change is important and critical. Our healthcare system lives in a complex society. It is complex. We have services and programs, professionals, buildings, facilities, technologies that have evolved over time, and much of that is necessary, and much of it is well-intentioned, but it is difficult to use. It's difficult to navigate, and it can be frustrating. I, my hope for the healthcare system is that we find coherence in this complexity, that we meet the needs of individuals, that we meet the needs of individuals within the context of their families and communities, that we make a healthcare system that's accessible and meaningful for people when they need it. My vision for healthcare really started in rural Manitoba where I learned about the importance of the multidisciplinary team. I learned about family and community and their contribution to health. I learned about prevention action. And I learned about the primary care home, which is probably my first hope for the healthcare system, is to situate healthcare in the primary care home. And the primary care home means to me starting with the person and the family at the center of healthcare, where we learn about their needs, their aspirations for their health, the strengths that they bring to their situation, their expectations of health and of the healthcare system, and the providers within the healthcare system. A primary care home also means to me access to an interprofessional team of, of <laughs> long term relationships with various providers and a safe relationship over time. It's a known place and it's a predictable place, it's a home. The primary care home also means to me a place where there's a plan of care, a place that um, that plan of care has been developed with the family, with the person, is known to the family, is accepted by the family and the person who we're providing care to and by the team. And that care is coordinated according to that plan over time, over situations and over settings. In Northern Health, we're working on this in three communities. We're bringing physicians, and staff from our home and community care, public health, mental health areas, to understand really what it is we do today. How do we need to change how we work together? How do we need to make a difference for the people who are experiencing our services? I'm reminded of one story of an elderly woman in Prince George who um, had the flu and was able to avoid hospitalization because care was deployed quickly to her in her home and enabled her to make a decision that she was gonna stay living at home. That's what we want, that kind of experience for people. My second hope for the healthcare system is that it is embedded in a healthy community. A community that plans together, a community that has a vision for the health and well-being of their population, and a community that enables people to make healthy choices. This is about bringing people together, physicians, providers, community leaders, other organizations in the public. It's seeking to understand our strengths in the community, our needs, our gaps. It's about not being stakeholders in each other's world, but being partners in creating health. In the North, we're working on this in a number of our communities in partnership with our municipal um, leaders. And this is a picture of Mackenzie, and Mackenzie has a Mackenzie Gets Healthy uh, initiative, Walk With The Doc, um, Healthy Eating on a Budget, in Belmont, we have Belmont Walks Around the World. In Kitimat, we have Kid, Kick It Up Kitimat, which is focused on men's health in a community that's going through industrial development. 
My third hope for the healthcare system is that we engage providers and the people we serve in improvement. The system is foggy and overwhelming, not just for the people who use our system, but also for providers. <clears throat> it's important that we engage the physicians and the providers in our system in understanding their experiences of our system. What are the barriers they experience? What bottlenecks? What processes do they see that need changing? What ideas do they have to make it work? What do they think needs to be improved in terms of quality? The people we serve also have stories and things to tell us about their experiences of the healthcare system. What has it been like to use our services? What has it been like to navigate through our facilities? These have produced aha moments for many of our staff as we've learned about this. And I'm reminded of the mental health provider in the North who mapped the journey of one of his, um, his patients who had encountered three mental health teams still um, was in the emergency department 23 times over nine months. And that provider said, I can't believe I have been justifying this. The status quo is not good enough. I'm also reminded of an um, experience in Kitimat or in Quinell, where a group of staff undertook a lean process to eliminate wait times for intake in mental health and moved from three to four weeks of wait time to same day appointments decreasing the steps from 25 or from 144 to 25 steps in the intake process. These are important things. So my vision for the healthcare system is a primary care home, access to a multidisciplinary team embedded in a healthy community that's engaged providers and patients in the design of the system. It's not just about talking about change, but it's about implementing change where people interact with each other. We have an imperative to act and to implement for our future, for the future of our families, and for the future of people like my parents. Thank you. <laughs>